Hello everyone, my name is Braden Gerard, and today I'm going to be talking about token authorization in Strapi. So up until now, Strapi has used token authorization as the main form of authorization. Before, there was only full access or a read only. Now, Strapi has gotten much more granular with that, and they actually allow you to give custom access to specific models using that API token. So I'll show you a little demo of this and we can see how it works. Can go into the create API token here from our settings, API tokens, create a new token. I'll call this one Braden and I'll give it a description, Braden's token. And then I will go here and select the token type and we'll say custom access. There is also now a token duration. So you can set how long you want that token to be available for. This tightens up security so that we no longer have tokens that are available forever or for only a short period of time. You can set exactly what you need here. We'll say, you know what, I need this token for 30 days. So we put that on there and then we can go down and I have a model here that I set up ahead of time uh, called a post and that post has options of what we want to do here with our custom API token or what we want to be able to access. So let's say that I don't want to be able to access all posts, but I should be able to access one if I know the ID of it. Then I would want to just select find one. Now before we save this, let's go over and, or actually let's save this and I'll take this AP, this token here, and let's go down and edit this so that we have no permissions on this token. All right, so I've copied my API key here, my token. I'll go over to Postman, and I will put that into the bearer token uh, here so that it's set as an authorization bearer header, and then we will go to our localhost 1337 API forward slash posts, and then We'll just see if we can get all posts first off. So if we send that, it's gonna be forbidden. If we say posts forward slash one, that's gonna be forbidden. Uh, now just to show you, I did create this post in here. So if we go over to our content manager, we have a post um, and it has the idea of one. It has a background color, which is a custom field in Strapi. Uh, and then we have the title uh, and body here. If I go back over to settings in Strapi, we can go to the API tokens and this one that I created here and we can edit it. And let's go and actually give it some access now. So again, let's say that we can only find one but we don't wanna be able to find all. We can save that. We can go back over to Postman here and now this request should go through. So if I hit send, you can see that I'm able to retrieve that one post. But if I remove that and try and retrieve all posts, I will get forbidden. Look at how fine grained we can get this access. Now I can set that for any model, specifically whether I wanna be able to find, create, update, delete, um, and you can adjust that on the fly so that your API tokens are able to access specifically fine grained permissions as to how you need your app to be secured. So now I can access the one and I can also access all because I just changed that to allow all. So that is the new API tokens in Strapi. Strapi will still support user-based permissions with the user permissions plugin. That will still be there if you need it for individual user permissions. But if you want to use API tokens, it now has this much more fine-grained access and also a duration. Thanks for watching.